feel like a part of the Cirque du Soleil. Except I'm too fat for that shit. I'm not agile enough. <laughs> oh well. Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. I am bringing you some Circus Madness with this beautiful clown look. Now, this look I actually already done. I put it on my Instagram and quite a lot of people give it really, really good positive feedback. So I was just like, awesome. I shall recreate the look for you guys to try yourself. Stay tuned and you can find out how to do this for yourself. Subscribe today for more. Leave a little like down below if you enjoy the video. Share with your friends. Enjoy. I went ahead and applied NYX liquid concealer on any angry red areas I had in my skin. Fair to say, there were a few. I used a light blue snazzaroo paint and a C-shaped brush to apply the eye shape I wanted and proceeded to fill in the shape with the same colour. Quick tip, when using water activated face paint you can get streaky sections due to the brush strokes. Easiest way to remedy this is by dabbing the area with your fingers. I continued the colour down my neck, starting solid at the top of my neck and letting the colour fade out towards the bottom. It should look like really elongated upside down triangles basically. Swapped out my brush for a foundation brush and applied a gold snazzaroo face paint to the sections between the blue using the same method as before. Clearly the mirror was desperate for some camera action. <laughs> Using some black snazzaro face paint, I started blacking out my eyes. You want to go for that I'm too shit face to clean my makeup off panda eye look. To avoid streaking, I use my fingers to blend it outwards. I loaded up another brush with a slate grey eyeshadow. Now there's two reasons for this. It darkens the area around the eye further and eyeshadows blend much nicer than paint. I'm trying to create a vague diamond shape within the blue sections. Using an angled brush and some royal blue eyeshadow, I'm darkening the outer corners of my eyes. This helps to frame the eyes and give the light blue sections more depth. I'm blending up, down and outwards but avoiding the tips as I want to leave some contrast there. Jack it up. I'm also adding a touch of the blue to the teardrop section to add some more depth to the gradient. With the same colour as before, I'm creating a gradient on the neck also, placing the darkest area at the top of the neck and fading out about halfway down. I 
Then using a copper eyeshadow, I'm just doing the exact same with the gold sections on the neck. Time to chisel those cheeks to the extreme. Not that I'm envious or anything, but you know. I'm starting with a warm brown contour shade and applying it just under my cheekbones, my temples and a touch on the forehead. Then using a smidge of black eyeshadow, I went back over the same areas and then it was just blend, blend, blend. I use a bit of the black eyeshadow also under my jaw just to thicken up that shadow effect. Using a multi-tonal white shimmer eyeshadow shade, I put highlights above my cheeks to the sides of the eye design, my nose, chin and jawline. Okay, trust me, I need all the help I can get to make those angles pop. With the lips, I'm using the light blue Snazaroo paint again. Then with a light blue eyeshadow shade, I went under my bottom lip and on top of my cupid's bow and filtrum edges. That's right, filtrum, it's the actual name for that part of the body. I didn't film it the first time around but I placed three vertical lines just below my bottom lip and going back over the start of them with the same royal blue eyeshadow that I used in my eyes. I did the same as on my upper lip as well. And that is the look complete. I achieved my goal of becoming some form of celestial alien water clown. Good times. Keep your peepers peeled for more videos coming soon and I shall see you guys in the next one. Mmm, dry lips.